Hello fellow scratchers! This is a quick tutorial to talk you through using my new lip sync tool for scratch. Now this is still an alpha and has been thrown together over the last week so I do plan to improve it further. But without further ado, let's dig in. We begin with a project that contains a mouth sprite with a full set of VisMe compatible lip sync costumes, like the ones in my Griffpatch account here. Now feel free to remix it or backpack the mouth sprite. Now in the same sprite, record or drop in your audio files that you want the mouth to be able to speak. And don't forget you can also have more than one mouth sprite if you want them to have a conversation in the same scene. Great! Now use the file menu to save the scratch project to your computer. It will be saved with an extension .sb3. You still with me? Because the next step is the fun bit. Load up my new web app at scratchlipsync.griffpatch.academy. It's linked in the instructions. And it looks cool, right? Now then, we click the load project button and then select the same project that you just saved. You should see a list of sprites appear. Only sprites that contain VisMe costumes are listed. So click on the first sprite you'll instantly see the resting mouth costume appear in the output pane. But you can't start playing the animation until you also click a sound. So click on the first one, and right away the web app begins processing the mouth sounds and working out the mapping from the phones back to the costumes. Once done, you can click the play and watch a preview of the mouth in action. Hello fellow scratchers! This is a quick tutorial to talk you through using my new lip sync tool for <laughs> way cool. However, if you're not 100% happy with the results, then you can click on the sound a second time, as that can often yield even better results. Hello, fellow scratchers! Now, you need to do the same for each sound within each mouth sprite. But once all the sounds are processed, simply click the save button to save the mouth animation data back to your original Scratch project file. Right guys, we are super close now. The last step is to switch back to Scratch and use the file load from your computer to bring the data back into Scratch. And now, final step. See how we have the when green flag clicked here and under that we are listing all the sound files to play back. So we just need to add one of these for each sound we want to play in this mouth sprite. You have to make sure to type the sound name correctly, or you could just copy and paste it from the sound tab. And then smash the green flag and watch the whole animation play back in your scratch project. Hello fellow scratchers! And the lips are flapping away in time with the sounds. How cool is that? Yay! So. Where we go from here is up to you. Design your own mouth costumes, try animating the head and body. Well, I've got loads of ideas of ways this system can be extended, so check back again soon. But for now, that's it. So have fun and scratch on, guys. <laughs>